when you can insecurity these are this is a a state yeah the state where where, where there's what is a feeling of threats of danger lack of self-confidence in in yourself okay so I'm, I'm talking about personal insecurity right now in this video Yeah, so good day everybody, welcome to TMB and it's so nice to be back, it's my first video of the year so I'm so happy and you know this is my second video on the channel where I'm where I'm shooting out where I'm recording out outdoors like look at the background you see that I'm not in my room I'm I'm outside okay you know I was when I was preparing for this video I was remembering my past in 2020 I guess yeah 2020 where where I struggled with social anxiety, you know, I I didn't like going out, not because of maybe I lo maybe I enjoy indoor, indoors, but you know I felt insecure outside. Like I felt as if people were watching me. As if I didn't feel safe going outside. So and I went online, you know, just get help. Or I got some help though. Yeah, and so but thank God that you no, know, it's been a while now. Like it's been four years now, and you know I've gone come closer to God and you know meeting Christ more and that really helped me to overcome my insecurity of social anxiety. So being recording outside is like a testimony of 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 how I've overcome and uh, and you know I feel safe here recording and even though I think it looks a little bit shy you know, I'm recording at a place not my house I'm at Don Bosco Youth Center. It's a it's Christian youth center in my neighborhood. Yeah. So that's just that. So what are insecurities? You know these are Insecurity is just the opposite of security, you know, where you feel, you know, security is, you know, it, 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 a feeling of well-being, a feeling of, of peace, you know, where there's no chaos. Yeah, that is my own simple definition. And when, 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 when you look at insecurity, these are, this is a, a state, yeah, the state where, where, where there's, where there's a feeling of threat, of danger, lack of self-confidence in, in yourself okay so I'm, I'm talking about personal insecurity right now in this video and I'll categorize insecurities in two ways this could be physical or spiritual that is seen or unseen some people's insecurities are physical like maybe they have a maybe they, maybe they, they actually suffered a, an accident that that kind of affected their body and that that's should I say that damage can make them feel maybe feel less of themselves like the the this the this the this um reduce the this um, what can I say the, like deficit there's a deficit in terms of their self worth and it could, it could also be spiritual like unseen maybe you know what you feel inside of yourself maybe it could be social like my own case back then it could be social anxiety it could be fear it could be maybe excessive shyness you understand and so that just that on insecurities and. From a biblical perspective now, a lot of people have insecurities in the Bible or just weaknesses, things they don't like about themselves. An example is on Moses who had issue with his with his tongue. Yeah, if I be hearing some wind sound as per there's wind. Okay, Moses had issue with his tongue. So when God called him to do what he should do, it was like, no, no, God sent somebody else. And that what happened to insecurities, kind of limits someone. So like, oh, that's why I think it's good to talk about them and overcome them by God's grace. So then another person is Paul. In and, and that's this video's central scripture, Second Corinthians 12. Paul, Paul talked about his own weakness, which he was praying to God to to overcome. And that's not about insecurities. You always pray, God, I don't want I don't want this anymore. God heal me, God make me better, God give me, give me, God help me. Okay? So let's look at second second Corinthians 12. Okay, so it's my small Bible here. <laughs> Thank you, Gideons, for this Bible. They, have been so, they are so good. So, um, Second Corinthians twelve, and okay, yeah. So re reading from verse, from verse seven, yeah, from verse seven. Unless I should be exalted above measure by the abundance of the revelations, a thorn in the flesh 
was given to me, the messenger of Satan, to buffet me, lest I be exalted above measure. Concerning these things, I pleaded with the Lord three times that it might depart from me. And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you. That was to Paul, but to you as well. For my strength is made perfect weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will boast my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distresses for Christ's sake. When I am weak, I am strong. Wow, it's powerful. Yeah, when I'm weak, I am strong. So, that means Paul had an issue with, Paul, Paul, Paul had an issue, a weakness that he didn't like. And this made him feel weak. And they were like, God, heal me, God, help me. But God is like, God didn't take, God didn't take away what he wanted. God didn't take away that, that insecurity or that weakness. God was like, my grace is sufficient for you. And looking at that now, I can gain lots of wisdom from that. And the first thing is that God knows you have insecurities. God knows. Yeah. This song that is popular and I love the song so much. It's called God Only God Knows, knows by for King and Country. But, like, but there's one song with Dolly Parton, it's a great one, so please check it out, okay? And then, he prayed about it, for God to heal him. God, God didn't like, you know, take away that problem, but rather God gave him grace. And that's this video's main solution to insecurities. Grace, this God's grace. You know, Hebrews 4 verse 16 says that, you know, let us come boldly to the throne of grace to find grace and it's i think something, something about grace finding grace is even mercy i kind of mix it together okay but the point is just grace and mercy so we need to just we need grace of god to help us and about grace grace can come in different ways it could be like a much much healing god can just you know just speak the word yeah speak the word and that thing goes away okay like like, like just in the Bible, many people had problems, just just say the word and they get their healing. But in some cases, it's not like that. Yeah. God can look at those beds. Yeah. <laughs> God can um can give you the grace in different forms. It could be God giving you the wisdom you need to walk through this insecurity. It could be God giving you something to help. And for example, in Moses' case, Moses told God his problem. God did not say, Moses, um, I I take away your 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 speech impediment like he did for he did in I guess Matthew or Luke or John. He just did with with a man. I was like effort be opened. He just didn't do that. God didn't do that to Moses. God, rather, God gave him someone to help him. And that's what God's grace can do. It can it can be it can be anything. Okay. So that's just that. And well, so these are just my 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 belief about insecurities, and I believe God can help. Okay, God helps. So don't don't stop praying. Work with God about it, and believe in His grace. His grace can help you. It can make you whole. Okay, just just keep having faith in God. Don't let this let this bring 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 you nearer to God, because in Paul's case. The reason why he was secure, why he had that weakness, was to keep him humble, like to make, so, we, so we won't become proud. And so be like, God, why do I have this thing? Is this to teach me a lesson? Maybe I should be more humble, I should be more compassionate. Okay, imagine if you were perfect, if you, if you didn't have that insecurity, do you, do you think, do you, don't you think you might be kind of proud, or you might, you might not know how people feel the way people who have other problems feel? Okay. So hopefully in next video I will share one of my own insecurities which I'm working with God to overcome. Okay, and I will talk more about that in my next video, okay? Or maybe my next two videos because I should have an interview after this video, okay? That's just that on the video. And I would also leave you some resources which you can check out why wait why I wait my next video. And the first one is is um music. I love music so much and I believe music speaks to the soul. And the first song I will share is one I spoke about for God, God Only Knows by Dolly Parton and um, King and Con for King and Country. Next one is um, Even If. Yeah, it's the song talks about even if God can do all things, but even if He chose not to do it, 
I say trust in God. And then third one, oh, the wind is Jairi by Elevation Worship and Maverick City. Jairi also. I'm already loved. I'm already chosen. I know who I am. You know. So those those words from God can help you become your securities, okay? And but again, yeah. And next one is um some sermons. Yeah, there's a pastor thing. Pastor Stephen Fortic. He preached a lot about insecurity, self confidence, and really of my my personal confidence. And I believe it can help you as well, okay? So thanks for watching the video and share to your friends. Leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Or in case you have an insecurity that you feel as if you should share with someone, you can share with me as well, okay? I believe God would help us trust with this course true. Okay, you can reach me on on, on my Twitter X account at the male believer, okay? So thanks for watching and hope you love the background, hope you love the view. Yeah so thanks for watching and adios.